Hello everyone, how are you? I pray all is well with you. God is good all the time. Today's video is a little bit different. I won't be on too long. It's just a new series I'm going to start on my YouTube channel. In addition to some other things the Lord is going to have me to share. Um, you know, as far as Bible journaling and the artsy stuff. Um, this though, it's not going to be any Bible journaling, um, with it, unless the Lord tells me to do a page with it. Um, my husband and I, we went to Barnes and Nobles and I picked up a book. I've been reading a lot more. I've been, um, I posted a reading challenge in my group last week and it pushed me to read even more. And I'm talking about in addition to the Bible. I'm not talking about um, you could it could be the Bible more Bible reading if a person wants the church um, where my husband and I are attending um, they give free resources and um, and free books and I mean good books so I picked up a book when was it the week before last called the difference maker and hold on one okay this is the book the difference maker and um, I challenged myself for three to read this book within three days and I invited anyone who wanted to join in in my group to you know do the challenge with me and by the grace of God I was able to read the book in three days it's a very good book and um it's a, it's a book about evangelism mostly and if you want um I'm going to be giving away this book because I finished it so let me move on back to what I was saying about Barnes and Nobles so we went to Barnes and Nobles and I got this small book called 30 Days to Knowing God Better. Life-changing insights from classic Christian writers. And I wasn't going to get the book because I have several books in that area, that that, that category. <laughs> Sorry about that. Of getting to God getting to know God better. Sorry about that. You know, sometimes sidebar, sometimes the noise, it just gets on my nerve. But I'm like that's outside so that doesn't so we have to like come on now if you want quiet close your window go somewhere tucked in the corner that's outside you know people are driving more they're not doing anything wrong it's just that i'm recording so i get um a little bit agitated by the noise but okay back to what i was saying so yeah so i have several books um in that category but what um, how can I say what inspired to me to get the book was the fact that it says life changing insights from classic Christian writers. When I was going to put the book back, I saw that and it was on my heart. You know what? Get it because I write. And one of the things that I've learned as a writer is very important to read. Now, of course, we know read your Bible. That's a given. But sometimes I, f I find that if we don't read other kinds of literature, and I'm not talking about to be like consumed by it because the scripture lets us know, um, you know, too much study studying is vexation of spirit. Um, um, of spirit. So I'm careful not to get caught up in to literature more than I am into the Bible. Um, but as a writer, it's, it's good to learn from others. And I have favorites, which is like Spurgeon, Wigglesworth. I like them because they're so sound in doctrine. And so it's so full of grace. I'm just like, whoo, yes, Lord. And it's like, it really deals with building up your faith and holiness. Um, who else? It's Tozer. And it's, it's, it's a couple of, um, a few more. But anyway, so this has various um christian writers so um what they do is um they will have one of the writers the layout of the book is um a writer and it's not like a it, it's sort of it's somebody may use it for a devotional then again someone may not um it depends on the person but there is um a writing piece from the famous um, the classic, rather, I should say, classic, classic Christian writer, like insights, yes, some insight. Then there's some scripture to back it up. 
But this is also to, to, you know, to not only back up the insight, but to encourage the person in the topic. And I'll show that in a minute. But what I really like about it, it goes a step further and it says, think about it. So it gives these three questions, three questions to answer based on the insight in the scriptures that you read. And it gives like a couple, a few more scriptures with some of them and also some more insights from some other authors that's connected with that topic. So what I'm going to be doing, God willing, is sharing from this book. I'm not going to say every day because I know my scheduling or whatever, but as he leads me, I'm going to share um, from this text. And it's going to be a series of 30 days to knowing God better. And um, I'm going to make an, a, a separate playlist for this. So I want to do day one. So today's format, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and read the topic. Day one, know God through his word. And the opening scripture is, all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. That scripture is 2 Timothy 3.16 and that's the NIV version. So now I'm going to go into the insight. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but I'm going to read something that D.L. Moody wrote. <clears throat> and this is about the word of God. We believe it is inspired because there is nothing in it that could not have come from God. God is wise and God is good. There is nothing in the Bible that is not wise. And there is nothing that is not good. Now, he's not talking about the situations. He's just talking about that it being penned. So that's just a little insight that he wrote. I'm going to say that. I'm going to read that last sentence again. There is nothing in the Bible that is not wise. And there is nothing that is not good. So, know God better. And this is... Two scriptures I'm going to read, and then I'll give the questions. Not all of them. I think I'm going to sum it up. So, this is Psalm 19, 7 through 11. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statues of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Again, that's Psalm 19, 7 through 11. Next scripture, 2 Peter 1, 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And being moved by the Holy Ghost, when you speak, you're speaking as an oracle of God, speaking the word of God. I like that. So, think about it. Here are some questions. Um, so, it did, it, it, one of the questions, it asks you, two of the questions, it asks you about your familiarity with the word and, um, and are you interested in improving your familiarity with the word. 
And here's a question I'm going to read full out as it is. It says, what practical measurable steps can you take to improve your familiarity with scripture? Again, what practical measurable steps can you take to improve your familiarity with scripture? So, um, I'm not going to share my thoughts because that's not what this is about as far as, you know, my answers to these questions. It's just for me to share and who's ever watching it prayerfully, it will encourage them in the Lord and build them up, edify them in the Lord. And, you know, as it's, I'm getting edified from it. And, um, yeah, so, um, I don't want, I don't want to make this video about me and my journey. It's just sharing part of, um, my journey with reading this book but staying on track with it being like general additional insights we should read the bible as those who listen to the very speech of god f b meyer the way into holiness let all our employment be to know god the more one knows him the more one desires to know him brother lawrence the practice of the presence of god so that said, um, yeah, so my prayer is that we will all get to know God better. Um, we will grow in the Lord and, um, and just draw closer to him more and more each day. Okay, so before I close out, um, I just want to share again about the giveaway. If you want to text the book, just leave in in the comment section. I'm going to close out the giveaway on the 3rd. Also, too, if you want, you can go to the Journey Church, New York City website, and see the free resources they have there and get a book if you want. I know someone that did it, and um, um, it was really good. Actually, it's Danny, and she posted it on her Instagram um, page. So, you know, um, yeah, you can get free resources that way, too. So... I'm going to enter, like I said, I'm using this as a giveaway because I have enough books on the shelf, but, um, and I didn't write in the book. And as you can see, it still looks fairly well. It's not beat up or anything like that. Spread the love, spread the love. I mean, if somebody doesn't, if some, no one enters into the giveaway, I'm just going to go ahead and take the book back to the church because, you know, somebody can make use of it. Or maybe I'll give it to someone in the street, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to put it here on the giveaway and see who wants to enter in. So, okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.